Good day, everyone. I'm here to introduce about PayRecon and PayShop. First of all, let's log in to the system. After login, you will see dashboard. It has shown two tables, which are unpaid orders and cancel return delivery field. From the table, you can see that the numbers of the order and also the amount of the total orders in different time. And these tables is to alert seller to check on those orders. Next, there is a graph that shows the sales report. You can choose the date that you want to view and search. And this is the table. Next, you will see a product ranking by revenue by quantity from the date that you have chosen for each marketplace. And there is the SKU, product name and also the quantity. Now, let me show you about PayShop. PayShop is a smart inventory and product sync system that helps to manage online stores. It can control inventory amount to prevent overselling and also underselling. This is our product list. And there are products in the list. From the list, you can select the product that you want to sync to your marketplace by just clicking this product. Then select your marketplace and your ID. Then by clicking this button, this product will be synced to your marketplace. Besides that, you can also update your product's quantity by clicking this sync product quantity. Next, Seller can add new product. Seller have to fill in these blanks and click add product. Then the product will be added into the product list in PayShop. Besides that, if seller already have products in their marketplace, they can import the products into PayShop. The other functions of PayShop we have import products, import product image, print barcode, quantity adjustment, and this pay shop code. Other than that, we have a mini post system that can add sales manually by seller. Besides that, we also have purchase and expenses that can let seller fill in. Now, this is the report for PayShop. There are products report, adjustment report, brands report, stock movement report, sales report, Payments report, purchases report, expenses report, customer report, and also suppliers report. Next, let's talk about PayRecon. PayRecon helps online sellers to do reconciliation from all marketplaces against the order automatically, track all the unpaid orders, and generate financial reports effortlessly and accurately. There are three steps seller needs to do in Pericon. The first step is scan.
it is an order processing that is same with marketplace format. Seller can view different marketplace at here and also different seller ID. So by clicking the ID they want to view, they can simply click the order and to process it. So the things that need to do is seller just needs to scan the pack parcel tracking number into our system and create a manifest. Next, the second thing, seller can check their cancel return delivery field orders in our system and we also provide a claim form for seller to question Lazada about what problem they have made in this order. Next, the third thing is upload account statement. Seller have to upload account statement from the marketplace by themselves. It is to inform period account whether the order is paid or not. After these three steps, seller can view the report. And here is the various report. So let me show you a few reports about it. The first one is sales report. From the sales report, you can choose the date you want to view and this is a summary that displayed. And below is the order detail within the date range. Next is the unpaid orders. This report shows the orders that is unpaid from marketplace. From the summary, seller can view the total orders within the date range and also the amounts of the unpaid orders for the orders. Next is the paid orders report. Paid orders report is according to the date range from the account statement. From here, seller can see the difference amount between the order price that have scanned in our system and also Lazada payout. Next is the postage fee report. From this report, seller can see that the amount that charged by Lazada and also the amount that paid by customer is same amount or not. Besides that, we have other report such as payment fee report, refund report, transaction overview report, subsidies report and also penalty and others report to be viewed by seller. This is the end for the introduction. Thank you for watching.